Hey, welcome everybody. This is Pebbles the Horse, and I am Papa Sean, and we are doing some alchemy here. So this time around, we want to do a new potion. We have never done this potion before, but we are excited about it. This potion is the Nighthawk potion. So we just got the recipe, so now it's showing in our book here. So this Nighthawk recipe uh, promises to give us night vision. So we're going to want to stay away from bright lights, so don't use this during the day. <laughs> but we are going to go ahead and make some Nighthawk. Now you can buy the Nighthawk from Alchemist, and it's about 100 groschen. Uh, but if you wanted to make this for yourself, uh, you're going to need a few things. Cave Mushroom, Belladonna, Eyebright. All of these can be gotten from the Alchemist, as well as, uh, yeah, you'll find it, you know, Cave Mushrooms. I imagine you find them in caves. Uh, I think I've found some Cave Mushrooms, um, just wander around randomly as well, so I have a few of them, and I bought up ten from the Alchemist, because I figure those are kind of rare. Gonna need one uh, cave mushroom per uh, batch of Nighthawk. You need one Belladonna, which are also somewhat rare in my opinion, and then Eyebright seems to be r relatively common. That's uh, two Eyebright. You're gonna use Aqua, so you have some water, and that'll be provided by the Alchemist bench. One of the tricks here is gonna be distilling. We're gonna have to distill this, so our uh, ingredients say that we're going to take two handfuls of eyebright. We probably want to grind them up first because we are going to then be uh, grabbing a belladonna and a cave mushroom. The grinding of the eyebright happens first. You get two of those, and then we're going to drop the belladonna one into the cauldron along with the ground up eyebright in water. We're going to boil the eyebright and a belladonna for three turns, and then we're going to add a cave mushroom, and then we're going to distill. Alright, so I believe we'll go ahead and hit that prepare, and then I'll put our cave mushroom down here, and we've got our belladonna, we've got our eyebright, we've got our water, so let's go ahead and grab that water, and we're going to stick it in the pot. So this is our very first time making this potion, but we've made a mess of uh, the Savior snaps, so we're confident we can do this, we can do this. Alright, so drop the eyebright. We gotta grind eyebright, and there's two of them, so let's go ahead and do the grinding first so that we can focus on all the other activities. We'll throw one, bam, and then two, plop, and then we're gonna grind that up. Grind, 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 grind. Alright, so before I've only had one ingredient that I've been putting into a, a location, but I think that we can stick it all right into the pot. So we ground up the eyebright, let's throw it in the pot. Splat. Alright, and then we're going to grab one belladonna. Okay, we're going to throw that in the pot. Splat. Alright, so now we got our belladonna in our eyebright. Good to go. Now we're going to want to do three turns. So we're going to bring it to a boil and do three turns, and then we're going to plop that that mushroom in, and then we're going to want to distill it. So this here is the still. So we're going to use this one for the first time on the cauldron. So let's go ahead and crank up the cauldron, and then we'll get our sand glass going for three turns. So I'm going to crank it like three or four times here. I'm going to hit that one turn, and it's about eight seconds, five to eight seconds, somewhere around there for the sand glass, and we're going to go ahead and hit it again. That's this is our number two. We've got to make sure we keep that bellows going. And we'll flip it for number three. We'll go ahead and grab that cave mushroom. Oh no! Too soon. Too soon. That's too soon. Much too soon. Alright, let's see if they uh, penalize us too much for that. Let's go ahead and grab a file. Let's hit that boiling. And we'll go ahead and just do the still. And we'll go ahead and pump that bellows for the still as it drips in. And did we do it? Did we do it? We <laughs> we did it! We made our Nighthawk. It was a little shaky there, but we, we managed a Nighthawk. Alright, so I did buy some Nighthawk. Let me back away from the Alchemist bench. I bought... I want to say I bought five of the Nighthawk, and we just crafted three. So we're up to eight Nighthawk potions. Alright, and, and we don't have a crazy high Alchemist level. 
Right, Artist Alchemy, we just we just got started with a little, a little while ago. Made a few Savory Snap Potions and got up to level 6. I went and uh, purchased level 6 to level 7 from the Alchemist. And then, so now we're at level 7 Alchemy. Very cool. Alright, let's see if we can do a repeat of... We'll go ahead and read the book. You need to have reading in order to read the book. And that's... Uh, there's a quest line for that. Um, when you go to... Uh, Over to the northwest, I believe you, you. There's an area that has a scribe that will teach you how to read. And once you know how to read, we can go ahead and do this. Hit the prepare, and you'll want to sit in a chair or sit on your bed in order to read the uh, recipe. We'll go ahead and throw some water in. All right, and then we want to grab our. Eyebright. Remember, we we need two eyebright for this Nighthawk potion. And splat. So something that might be interesting to try if you guys are out there and if you can comment. Um, if you don't have the recipe for eyebright or you don't know how to read, I'm very curious if you could just, hey, you know, meta game it, knowing that you need to have these two eyebrow grounded up. We'll go ahead and throw that in the water whether you can go ahead and craft these things without having the recipe for it and whether they would actually work because you know you figure it should right I mean you're doing it all the same way why should knowing the recipe in game make all the difference alright so we're going to go ahead and crank that three or four times on the bellows we've got our two eyebrow that grounded up thrown in there we're going to turn the sand glass And we'll just kind of crank the bellows in between, flipping the sand glass here. So that's uh, a little bit over one right now. We'll go ahead and crank again. And we'll flip the sand glass. This is our last sand glass, but we will go ahead and crank. We'll grab a file. Well, we've got to grab our mushroom, but as soon as we grab it, it's going to throw it in there. So we we'll grab it, we toss it in. And we grab the vial. I almost forgot the cave mushroom that time. And then we're going to go ahead and crank once we get it on the still. We're going to put it in the still, give that fire a crank, and that bellows will heat up not just the boiling of the, uh, the pot, but also the still. You can see both flames are going. And we got ourselves another Nighthawk. Hey, it's getting, getting to be nighttime. Alright, so we will go back to reading, preparing, and I'm doing this a few times in case you guys are, uh, you know, crafting alongside me here. We'll just repeat the recipe as we go through, we pour water in, we grab ourselves two handfuls of Eyebright, one, throw it in our mortar, two, throw it in our mortar, and we're going to grind that up. And if you're wondering why I'm bloody, I just got done training a little bit with Bernard, who's been uh, slapping me around. But hey, he beat me once. No, actually, he didn't beat me at all. He just about near killed. No, he did beat me once. He got me with a halberd. That's what it was. But yeah, I think I beat him with a longsword four times in the uh, real weapon training. Great way to get your skills up. All right, we get one Belladonna. And we're going to throw that directly into the cauldron. Splat. Don't have to grind that one up. Alright, we'll go ahead and hit cook in. You want to crank that thing like three or four times. You don't want to just pull it once. You want to make sure it's boiling. Alright, we hit that sand glass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep that cranking. Nice and bubbly. Alright, we uh, let our sand glass run out. So that's our second turn, but we know it's a little a little bit more than two turns now. So we'll kind of catch it up by maybe flipping it early. That should get us caught up to where we really are. And cave mushroom time, right? Yep, cave mushroom. Boom. Little cave mushroom in. Grab a vial. We'll give it to the still. 
That'll end the potion creation process, but we want to hit the bellows while we're doing this here too. Yoink. That just keeps the uh, still going until it's ready. And that should be a Nighthawk. It is? Alright, so let's back out of the alchemy. We're going to take a... Whoop, not what I wanted. We're going to back away from the alchemist table. We're going to look inside our inventory and take a look at our Nighthawk potion. Alright, so you've been watching here, and I had eight after doing the first Nighthawk. And then we did two more, and we are at 14. So that's showing you that we're getting three Nighthawk potions every time we craft. Alright, so that's pretty decent. Right, I mean, we... Uh, we are um, going to be using these Nighthawks so that we can see at night. And right now we've got 14 Nighthawks, we've got 46 Savory Snaps. So we are ready to, to pretty much go on a spree here at night, whether that's going after Cumans, where I got this nifty little helmet from. And as you see, Bernard's been taking a toll on my armor, so I, have, I need, to, need to collect some new armor to play with. So those Cumans are going to give it to me. All right. So that is how we make Nighthawk potions. We are ready to go out into a uh, sneaky, sneaky adventure. And that's how kind of how I built my character, just kind of give you a sneak peek here. Uh, if you look at stealth, I'm at 11 now. I went with uh, a lot of the takedown, crouching chameleon, stealth kill, ordinary mug, and E2 Brute. So uh, this will give you additional damage from behind, one third stronger from your attacks from behind. Stealth kill is what you need in order to take somebody out from behind. And this is great for if you're not able to take on multiple targets, you can sneak around and you can take them out one by one, run away, get stealthy like. So if you're good with combat, great, but you're probably only going to be able to take on one person, would be my guess. You know, more than that, you got, you're got you pro, I guess, but uh, uh, if you come around sneak around, you can just give them a quick dagger to the chest, lay their body down. And uh, I, I like to drag them out of their camp so they can't see. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm escaping the fact. But that's what the Nighthawk potion is going to be good for, is I'll be able to see at night. They won't be able to see as easily. And that'll help me get my targets and get away. So Nighthawk potion and alchemy. All right, guys, I'll catch you next time. Enjoy Kingdom Come Deliverance.